Hi, I'm here from Weems and Plath, and today we are going to answer our top question from our customers about the SOS distress light. What are the operational and maintenance differences between an electronic flare and pyrotechnic flares? The SOS distress light is a simple twist on off safety LED light that flashes the SOS Morse code sequence for up to 60 continuous hours when turned on. It operates as a locator beacon. To set off a pyrotechnic flare, first you must remove the lid to expose the scratch surface on the cap. Next, twist and remove the cap exposing the black flare igniter button. Lastly, gently strike the scratch surface of the cap against the black button of the flare, similar to striking a match. And you're gonna do this away from your face and body. Depending on the type of flare, it may stay lit for up to two minutes. The requirement for traditional flares on board a vessel is three because normally you have to light at least three flares before you're spotted by a first responder. Flares are distress signals, not locator beacons. Flares expire after 42 months, and it is very difficult to find legal ways to dispose of expired flares. The SOS distress light never expires, and it uses three standard C-cell alkaline batteries that should be replaced once a year. You can't test a flare. It's illegal to set them off except in case of emergency. The electronic flare can be tested anytime with just a twist. Flares can be extremely harmful to operate. Nighttime distress flares are flammable and can be extremely harmful if they come in contact with the body or the boat. Operating a flare requires single-minded focus. You can't be distracted by other important tasks while operating flares. The SOS light can be held by a child, tethered aloft, or put in a cup holder while you do other ta tasks like attending to everyone, putting on life jackets, or even getting on the radio to call the first responder. We hope you will choose the SOS light as it is ideal for first responders to locate you. What you may not know is that the majority of calls to, for help are made via VHF radio, cell phone, or EPIRB. Depending on the location of the boat, first responders arrive up to two hours after the call for help. So to answer the question, about which flare is better, you can see that the electronic flare is the better choice. It is safer to handle, lasts longer, and it never expires. So if you have questions about the SOS Distress Light or other products, contact us at support at weems-plath.com. Again, please like, follow, share all these great videos that we're giving to you. As always, here at Weems and Plath, safety at sea is a top priority. Bye.